Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Um, I'm outside right now. It feels really good. I want to do this video outside because it feels great right now and fall is coming soon. So I want to come outside and enjoy myself before it gets cold. But anyways, this video right here is going to be about why I don't regret not being popular in high school. And then also why I'm so happy I wasn't a part of the popular crowd. So if you want to hear more about that, just stay tuned. Okay, so when I was in high school, you guys, I was not popular. Um, I never had the coolest clothes. I never had the most expensive clothes, so I got picked on a lot. I um, would get clothes from the GCF because me and my parents just, you know, my parents just didn't make a lot of money. And we grew up kind of poor. So because I had to get my clothes from GCF and I wasn't wearing the most popular brand name clothes and shoes, I would get picked out a lot. I remember getting called names. I remember like getting off the bus and people just standing, you know, looking at me and saying like really rude stuff. Um, that happened a lot when I was in school and they just didn't care. They were like, they had no mercy at all. It was just like, oh, look at her shoes, look at her clothes. And I remember coming back home crying and telling my mom, like, I just never look as good as the other girls at school and really having a lot of low self-esteem because I was getting picked on in school. But looking back at that as an adult and realizing that you know, that's the reason why people didn't want to hang out with me or that's the reason why I wasn't popular because of my clothes. Looking at it now from like a spiritual perspective, I realized that God was actually trying to separate me from those people. And I think about it now that usually people are popular, not because they're nice or they're friendly or they're helpful. Usually they're popular because they're mean, you know, or because they have a bad attitude or because they're doing something they shouldn't be doing in the first place. So usually, like I said before, people are popular because they're doing things they have no business doing. And I realized that me not having that many friends or not being popular was actually a blessing in disguise. And excuse me, gosh, I can't talk right now. But anyways, it was actually a blessing in disguise just because many of those people who were popular, they were doing a lot of crazy stuff back then. Like I remember people who were popular doing drugs, smoking I've overheard people talking about the drugs they were doing or drinking or partying or whatever they were doing. Also, some people I heard were sleeping with teachers. Um, that was actually strange. Um, some of them sleeping with the same sex. So it's just like a lot of stuff. that I'm happy I wasn't hanging out with them because if I was, who knows what I would be into. And I'm sure that many of those people who were doing that are trying to hide the fact that they were doing that in school. So I realized that God kind of separated me from the popular crowd and had me distance from them and yeah it hurt you know it stuck not being popular it stuck not you know getting invited to this or that or to the movies but I'm happy that I wasn't in that crowd because I would have been doing all of that crazy stuff feeling guilty later on and probably trying to hide some of the stuff um if I was a part of that crowd so I'm just pretty happy that God definitely distanced me from those type of people and hey if they didn't want to hang out with me because of my clothes I guess that was a good thing <laughs> So I just want to encourage anyone out there, if you're in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, and you feel like you're not a part of the cool crowd or the popular crowd, or you're constantly getting picked on because you don't have the cool clothes, or you just feel like you really want to be a part of the popular crowd, listen, not being popular is really a blessing in disguise. Not being a part of that crowd is a blessing in disguise because it keeps you out of so much trouble. And really, you get to focus on yourself. And if you think about it, most of the celebrities that are really popular now were picked on in school. And they use all that negativity people try to throw at them to create something beautiful and create um, different opportunities for themselves. So listen, if you're not popular and you're going through, it's a blessing in disguise. Just know that God is trying to separate you for something better. God will get you through it. And then once you're done... You won't even see those people ever again. And then you can really just focus on yourself and being the best you you can be. So I've experienced that. God separated me. God is blessing me now. I'm so excited. So happy with the life I have now. Most of those people I don't talk to anymore. And I don't really care what they have to say about me now. But listen, don't give up. Don't worry about being popular. It's a blessing in disguise. It's okay being alone. So I just want to encourage you with that. <laughs> okay, bye you guys.